What's up everybody, Paul Carl here. Today we're gonna to talk about free automation tools that you can use to help streamline efficiency in your eBay business. We mentioned some of those in the last video on marketing and branding, and this is a way that you can build an internal competitive advantage to streamline how you're doing things. So first, let's jump right into number one, which is text replacement. Text replacement can be used on your phone or on your desktop to take things that you type frequently and make them appear automatically when you type in a little short code. You can see me doing that right here. So all your different boilerplate canned messages that you use all the time, turn them into something that uses text replacement. And on your iPhone, you're gonna go to your settings, go to general, go to keyboard, and then in keyboard, you see text replacement, second option. Um, there's all mine, and Android probably has something similar. It might be built in, or you might need to download an app for it, but you can find that easily on YouTube. There's tons of guides on this kind of stuff. Number two is fast keys, and you might remember this from an older video that I did um, just on fast keys. I'm going to show you the two most important tools for this. It does text replacement, so it has a little overlap with number one. Um, but you can see here, I type in my short code, which in this case is eBay offer, and it puts in my offer. So what I do on desktop is I use a semicolon to end it and then space. So that way I don't have it do this unless I'm intending to do it because sometimes you might make a typo or do whatever and you don't want fast keys messing you up. Um, now the other great thing for it is let's say you're sourcing on Facebook Marketplace and you find a King Tut head statue and you want to know what's this worth. Well, I'm going to highlight the text. I'm going to press Alt and G. And what that's done is it opened up the sold comps for that keyword that I had highlighted. You can set all of this up in fast keys. You can create all the text expanders you want. Here are some of the default ones. This is the one I created for this demo. And then there's also shortcuts. And I took, I did this one for eBay comp. So all you need to do is just copy this text. I'll put it in the description of the video. Um, but this is basically it. So you have your clipboard text and that's what you have highlighted. So when you highlight the text, and you hit the alt G it's sending this control C which is copy it's waiting for that to happen 50 milliseconds or whatever and then it runs this URL which just opens it up in a browser tab for you and then all this stuff over here is saying like complete and sold so that eBay knows to show the sold listings and not the active listings and you can do this for like any URL you want if you sell cards you can do this for like 130 point there's a lot of opportunity here to like really speed up the things that you're, you're doing Number three is GIMP. This is GNU Image Manipulation Program. It's a free open source program that's basically like Photoshop. There's also a plugin for it called BIMP, which allows you to batch the edits and automate them. You can use this tool to do whatever photo edits you want to do for your eBay listings. What I like to use it for with trading cards is the scans. I like to make them perfect squares so that the results aren't cropped in the eBay search results. Once you have everything installed under file, you can see batch image manipulation. We'll click that. We're going to add resize. And what I'm going to do is change this to pixels. And we're just going to change the canvas size to 1,000 by 1,000. Aspect ratio, we're going to pad. So this is going to add padding around it. And we're going to make the color, we'll just do black so we can see what it looks like. And uh, that, I don't know what that does. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and hit, hit OK. And now we got to choose an output folder. I'm going to do demo, output, and select that folder. And now we add images. I'm going to add a folder. I'm going to add my demo folder. And now I can hit apply. And what it's doing right now is it's going through and it's automating doing that resize for the canvas to make them squares. And when we come here, we see the originals. They're all, you know, rectangular, like a card. And the output, you can see it's added the padding. So now that it's a square, perfect square for eBay, you can see it padded left and right. And what you can do is you, if you want to make this white so it matches, and it, or you can even use like the eyedropper tool and get the exact color of the background of your scans and make that be the fill color. Uh, there's so many options, um, but that would make it look a little bit nicer, I think. I just went with black so that you could see what it did. Number four is Gixon. This is a really cool tool for sniping auctions. So if you like to source inventory online, you can use this tool when you see an auction that you want to bid on. You can automate it so that you set your max bid through Gixon once you link it to your eBay account. 
And what it'll do is within the last five seconds of the auction, it's going to send in your, your maximum bid. So that way you can try to get your auction won for as cheaply as possible. Now, the benefit of this versus just doing it yourself when you see an auction is you don't give away any information. So, for example, there's lots of auctions that have zero bids, and usually it's because they're not that great. <laughs> Um, but sometimes you'll be scrolling through auctions and you'll notice that one auction has a bid already, just one random bid. And something that you might have otherwise just skipped past, now you're going to check it out because there's a bid. So there might be something good there and you want to go check. And if there is in fact something good there, now you're competing or you're inviting competition if you're that one bid. So this prevents that from happening and it also prevents any bidding wars. So if you bid before the auction ends and people have time to go check it out, they could potentially decide to bid more than you did and have that time to consider it. So this eliminates that those possibilities it makes it easier to get really good deals for really cheap through ebay auctions gixon also has an app for the iphone i assume they probably have one for android too and you can use that in conjunction with the ebay app to find items save them to your watch list in your ebay app and then go to the gixon app and then import your watch list and put in your bids so that you don't have to worry about it it automates everything number five goes really awesome with gixon this is called automated searches and it's automatedsearches.com this site makes money from affiliate links when you click on their alerts, um, but what they do is they will either text or email you whenever a new result comes up for the item that you save, for the keyword that you save. So if I want to save like all the LeBron James lots, I can search eBay for this on here and it's going to show me all the eBay results for what it finds. But what you can do is you can set all these different parameters and then save the search. You can set this to run at all these different times here. Um, if you pay for the premium version, I think they can run it like every minute or every five minutes or something. It's a lot faster. And that's great for if somebody puts a buy it now listing up for way too cheap. You can kind of snipe that. But anyway, this tool is much more reliable than eBay save search. I pretty much never get notifications from eBay from my saved searches there. But this it will send you the text message every time something new pops up. And what you can do with this is you can keep your eye out for the types of products that you want to source. And when somebody lists a new one, you can either send an offer, buy it now, or if it's an auction, you can open up the Gixon app after you save it to your watch list, put in your max bid, and then a week from now, you don't even have to think about it. It's just going to try to snipe it for you automatically. This is a really good tool to help improve your sourcing process and automate as much of it as possible. I highly recommend it. Anyways, that's my top five automation tools that you can use for your eBay store. If there's any that you think I should add, leave them in the comments. Maybe I'll do another video like this with numbers six through ten. And uh, let, yeah, let me know what you think of the video. Thank you everybody for liking, subscribing, commenting, all that good stuff. We just broke a thousand and that's really cool. I never would have expected that starting the channel out. But yeah, this has been really cool. Thanks a lot guys.